Hi guys, my name is Mike. Welcome to my video. Today I want to show you how to um, how to record your entire desktop screen with audio in Windows 11. So um, uh, you're going to see a bunch of videos. They'll tell you to go to the um, use PowerPoint. Uh, PowerPoint presentation, or the um, <clears throat> both of those are just one trick ponies. Um, the game bar um, only records in the window that you started it in. It does not go across your entire desktop. So if you need to click around, let's say you're creating a tutorial um, where you need to click back and forth between uh, maybe a browser and a spreadsheet, um, maybe some video editing software. Um, you can't do that. Um, you can't do that with uh, either one, PowerPoint or Xbox Game Bar. Um, the the Game Bar is um, probably a little more flexible because you can start it in one specific app or window, and um, you uh, you need a snipping tool, and you need the sound recorder, and that they both come with Windows 11. Um, but you got to have the latest version of Windows 11 for the snipping tool to record uh, video of your screen, okay? Um, and the problem is it doesn't record sound along with the video, so that's why we need the, uh, the sound recorder. So basically you just go up, uh, come over here, go into your search, uh, type in uh, snip, and uh, you get the snipping tool. Uh, right mouse click on that. And you can pin it to your taskbar, and it'll bring it down to your taskbar. And then you're going to go back to your search, and you're going to do sound. And then uh, right mouse click on your sound recorder, and pin that to your taskbar as well. And that's it. And then once they're pinned here, you're going to go. Um, you're going to open up your uh, recorder. Okay, I'm going to bring this up. I already have a recording, um, so I'm going to, um, it'll just start a new one, okay, oh, automatically. Uh, then I can uh, open up your snipping tool, okay, and you get to do a screenshot. The camera is a screenshot, okay, it'll just take a whole, a whole screenshot, one picture, uh, but we're going to want to do the video, okay. And when you hit the new button, basically the screen's going to go dark, okay? And then you need to drag from the top left-hand corner if you want to do the whole screen. Um, drag, click and drag all the way down to your bottom right. Sorry, mine's a little slow because I'm on a touchpad. And that's it. Now that whole area, your whole desktop is um, highlighted. And then you come up here to start, and you're going to get a, a little three-second counter. It's going to count down before it starts recording. And at that point, I'm going to hit the, um, the start button here, okay? And um, then it's going to start uh, recording sound as well. So you're kind of creating two files at the same time. You're creating a video file and an audio file. And then uh, you're going to bring both those files into your video editor. Okay, I happen to use um, OpenShot as my video editor and I can bring both my video track and my soundtrack in and sync them up, okay? But they're gonna be pretty synced up because this gives me a delay. So I'm gonna hit start and then I'm gonna go down here and hit start. And then I'll continue my tutorial. So I'm just gonna give you a sample once I hit the start button here. So I'm gonna go start. Here's the counter, and at one, I hit the sound, and now I am recording. Okay, testing one, two, three. And now I can just minimize the windows, and now I can, let's say I want to pull up my spreadsheet because uh, I was actually trying to do a little um, a YouTube video which showed a spreadsheet, and I was also trying to use my browser. Um, so basically I was creating a a mini bike comparison chart, and um, also 
uh, trying to link and show some of the uh, some of the um, websites where you can order parts and things like that. And you know, you can't you can't do that with um, with Game Bar. Uh, you can't do this with PowerPoint. You need uh, you either need to download some software and pay for it, or you know, you can do what I'm doing right now in Windows. Um, there is, as I was creating this video, there is one other way that I know of that is absolutely free. And this will work for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And as soon as I'm done posting this video, I am going to post another video of how to um, record your whole screen um, using. Um, so basically, this works. And then uh, what you're going to do, I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to bring this up. Oh, actually, it's right here. So it, let's say I'm done doing my tutorial. Uh, stop recording. Okay, that's the snippet. And it stopped. It brought it up. And then I'm going to go down to my, rec my recorder. I'm going to hit the pause and the stop. Okay, and I made a recording here. Okay, and that's the one I want. And what I'm going to do is come over here to the three dots, pull that down. I'm going to show that file in a folder. I can rename it here or I can drag it to my project. Okay, I have a project right here. Uh, this is my uh, project folder. So I'm going to um, uh, drag that down to my project. That's the one that I want. Okay, so I bring that in and then close this up. And then I go to my snippet. I want to get my MP4. Okay, um, I can I can run it, <clears throat> test it, see what it sounds. What I was just showing you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it. And I'm going to go up to this disk here. That's going to show me how to save it. And again, I'm going to choose my, this is where I want it to go into my how-to videos, record screen video. And I can rename it here, all right, which um, yeah, this was my, I'll rename this to record screen. And this is uh, number two. This is my second attempt. My first one I wasn't happy with. And I'm going to hit save here. And we'll let that save. And then I'm going to go to my um, open shot video editor. And I already have a project that was up already. But um, if I were to include, start importing, I would find my new recordings. Um, all within here. Here's my recording here. And uh, where's my screen number two is up in here. Okay. And then what I would do is drag. Um, so here would be my soundtrack. Okay. I, I drag that down here, probably uh, right down here. All right. No, I'm, I don't really don't want to do that. I already have a project open. Um, <clears throat> so that's it. So I already have my whole um, my my video track in, and already have a uh, uh, a soundtrack in here already. All right, and so you bring it into whatever or uh, video software you uh, want to do. Uh, but any good, this is free. Open Shot is free. Um, but any uh, video editor should let you bring in separate soundtracks from your video, and then you can trim it up timings get your timings right if it's not right and edit your video and um that's it so um that's the end of this video uh hit the like button and uh, please subscribe and you'll get my next uh video um you'll be alerted uh, i'm going to show you the other free way to do this without using two tools at the same time there is a way to do it in windows 10 and windows 11 and I will be posting that very soon. So thank you, and I hope this helped you.